Imagine losing your laptop or having it stolen only to realize your personal information could fall into wrong hands. Scary, right? But what if I told you there is a built-in guardian in your Windows 11 waiting to be unleashed to protect your data from prying eyes? Yes, I am talking about BitLocker, the ultimate encryption tool that's easier to use than you think. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can encrypt your drive using BitLocker. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I am already in my computer screen. Now let me press Windows button and type here File Explorer and hit Enter. Now here we will see the File Explorer and for example here this is the drive which i would like to protect okay now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna make a right click now i'm gonna go here in setting which says turn on bit locker so let's click on that and now it is asking us to how you want to unlock this device so i'm gonna say i will be using my password to unlock this device okay now here what i'm gonna do is i'm going to set up the password so let me put a password here now click next now you know there could be a situation when you forget your password bitlocker is very secure guys therefore we definitely required some kind of recovery in case of let's say you forgot your password this step is very important guys and then uh, we have got here four options available we can create a recovery disk uh, we can save it to our azure ad account or sometime you know you will have option to secure it in your microsoft account in this case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this save to file method so let's click on that and now i'm going to save this file anywhere else except the drive which i want to encrypt which is you know more of keeping the key inside car and locking it from outside so let's keep the key outside of that particular drive okay so i'm gonna select c drive here and um let me choose this folder and then let me click save we have saved our recovery key now let's click next and then um, here we have got two option either to encrypt the partial disk which is encrypt use disk space only or you can encrypt your entire drive so it's up to you or which method you would like to choose so it's up to us which one we would prefer um, I would say let's encrypt the whole drive okay so let's click next here and now here we have got two encryption mode um, the first one is new encryption and the second one is compatible one let's say the drive that you want to encrypt is a removable disk then in case you might want to go with the compatible mode because you may connect the drive with the old pc for example the pc that's still running um, old version of windows 10 or windows 7 then you may want it to go with compatible mode but since this drive is fixed drive i would like to go with new encryption mode as the new encryption mode provide additional integrity support now let me click here on next and then let's click on start encrypting now here we can see the bitlocker have started encrypting the drive so let's wait for a while till the encryption end and this really can take some time to encrypt the whole drive which actually depend on the drive size and your computer performance now here we can see we have successfully encrypted our drive now let me click on close now let's again open file explorer and there we go here we can see this bit locker option which shows that our drive is now encrypted now whenever we try to access this drive 
let's say using other user account or let's say if this is external drive it requires your bitlocker password now in order to check bitlocker encryption what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to open control panel so let me go here to control panel and now here we can visit a bitlocker drive encryption and here we can see that uh, we actually encrypted two drives um the first one here is c drive and the second one here is h now let me show you how you can turn it off it is again pretty easy guys we simply need to click on turn off bit locker and then again here in the prompt you can see again it is asking us to turn it off uh, which again will decrypt my drive so let's mm -hmm. click on turn off now here you can see it started decrypting the whole drive so it may again take some time to decrypt so we can wait for a while um you know till the time uh, the whole drive can be decrypted so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful informational if yes then do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will see you soon with one such another productivity video Till then, you take care and bye-bye.